Hey everyone, it's Tara. Today I am getting ready for my first day back at work, at school. I go in for uh, like training and professional development. We do all that and prepare for the school year. And um, while I do that, I'll be reading some books this week. I'll hopefully get to some. Um, I'm currently making my coffee. Coffee's made, I'm ready for the day. Hey everyone, I'm headed to work right now. Um, on my drive, I tend to listen to my audiobooks at this time, and right now I'm actually um, about halfway through Riven Night by Daphne Perry. This one's like romantic suspense, um, like marriage of convenience, and it's the second in the Clifton Forge series. I'm enjoying it so far. I do like um, Isaiah and Genevieve's love story. Um, so far, it's uh, pretty good, and uh, I will probably, I'm hoping, it takes me about 25 to 30 minutes to get to work. So I'm hoping either to finish it on my way home or on my way there. It just kind of depends. I am listening at, I usually listen to my audiobooks at two times speed, so they do go faster um, than typical. But I will check in again throughout the week and let you know what I officially thought of it. Like I said, so far so good, but you'll have my final thoughts once I finish it completely. Hey everyone, so today is Wednesday. August 17th. Um, so anyways, I just finished, or I finished last night, Ribbon Night. Um, so I wanted to check in with you guys. I did enjoy Ribbon Night. It is um, by Debbie Perry. It's the second one in the Clifton Ford series. Um, I definitely liked this one. I think I liked the first one better just because I love the hate to love trope. This one was more marriage of convenience and it is small town, um, kind of like has the backdrop of a motorcycle club as well, even though they're disbanded. Um, so that was fun. And then I did like Genevieve and Isaiah's characters. This one is definitely more sad just because Isaiah and, um, Genevieve have gone through some things, um, but I did like their love story and how they came together, um, so I thought that was good. I think I'm landing on like a four star for this one, and it did end up wrapping up um, like the plot that started in the beginning of the book, so um, I'm wondering how the series will kind of go on with um, out that like major plot there might be something that they start again there was a setup for what seemed like another love story in the next book I think the next book is Stone Princess and that one seems interesting and I will probably definitely check that one out um, so yeah I ended up I'm giving that one a four star I did enjoy it it was a, a good read for me and um, the next one that I'm listening to on my way to work is by Bar Barbarian Alien by Ruby Dixon. This is the second one in a series, um, the Barbarian Alien series. So I'm gonna start, or I'm gonna um, start that one today. Barbarian Alien is, um, like I said, the second one in a series, and it's about um, the well. The first one was about women who are like snatched from earth um or like kidnapped from earth and taken by an alien species and then the alien species um crash lands on a planet and like leaves them there basically to die and it they have to learn to survive they end up finding another alien species that helps them survive and so this is the second one in that series um so i'll start that one today and then my like physical book that I'm reading when I get like off work and at home is Bombshell by Sarah McLean and that one is a historical romance and I'm about halfway through that one and I'm enjoying it it's definitely um, like has some action I do like Cecily's character and um, Caleb is also adorable too uh, as like a, a hero so we'll see how that one finishes um, there is like a family aspect and kind of 
I, it seems like it's like a second chance too. Maybe they were like definitely attracted to each other, um, kind of pining for each other, but like never really did anything about it. And it's um, their love story. Yeah, that's it. I'll just check in when I um, am about halfway through Barbarian Alien or if I finish it. Usually um, if it's audio, I finish them pretty quick. Or if I finish Bombshell, I'll check in as well. So I'll just talk to you guys later. Hey everyone, it's Tara. Today is Friday. I am checking in. Um, I did make it through the week, uh, the back to school week. Got to see some of my former students today and then meet my new students. So that's always fun. Um, but I did get halfway through Barbarian Alien by Ruby Dixon. This one is the second in a series of the Barbarian, Barbarian Alien series. And, um, they are like women are kidnapped from earth and then um by other aliens crash their spaceship crashes on a different alien planet and um they have to like kind of survive and this is part um two of like one of the women's stories who was in this spaceship and crash landed and it is um Rahash and Liz and it's their love story. Um, I do enjoy this one. This one is definitely, I guess the first one was too, but they're both, um, definitely steamy books and, um, I like it. It's fun. Kind of has like, they're both kind of like hunters and that's kind of like how they connect. Um, and so this one is good. There is a scene, um, she like kind of takes care of him when he's injured and that's always sweet to see so again halfway through we'll probably finish it tomorrow but i wanted to check in and again hey everyone it's tara today is actually monday i forgot to check in over the weekend um i think my last check-in was friday but i did want to wrap up the weekly vlog i did end up finishing um barbarian alien by ruby dixon and um that one I enjoyed. I'm probably landing on like a four star. I did enjoy it. Um, it has some steamy time. I did like Liz and um, as a character, I thought she was fun. She was a fun heroine. She's definitely like um, witty and um, like, like headstrong and stubborn. And actually both of them are stubborn, her and Rahash which makes them actually a good couple. At the end, there's like a, something that happens and it just shows like, in the beginning, Liz is very like, she feels everything is forced upon her. And it kind of is, I mean, she was kidnapped. She, you know, crashed, she's trying to survive. And then she gets this information that basically without this, this symbiont or whatever that they have, this cootie is what they call it, and then she will die and so like that's like forced upon her and then she you know she has a mate and that mate it because of the the cootie or um it's kind of like forced upon her it's not really her choice and um so she feels that in the beginning and then i love how like her character kind of um realizes that you know it's not really rahash's choice either in the instance of like because it is like faded made or whatever that it's chosen for them and there is an instance like at the end where she she kind of has to take things into her own hands and I like that aspect of finally she's making she's able to make choices on her own and she definitely does it with flair um I really liked Alyssa's character I liked her stubbornness I liked her strength I liked how she kind of like was annoyed that all of this was happening but like ultimately had to accept that this is what it is um anyways and I liked I liked Rahash with her because he's also like very stubborn and like quiet and she's like chatty so I thought it was fun I really enjoyed it I am I have still not finished my physical book I am still working on bombshell by Sarah McLean hopefully I will finish it tonight or tomorrow we'll see so I wanted to wrap up um, 
this week's vlog. It ended up running into Monday just because I forgot. I'm getting used to vlogging. Um, I hope you enjoyed. It was my um, first weekly vlog. I might do these every once in a while. I haven't set anything in stone yet. I just kind of want to see if people like it. So anyways, like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to. I really enjoyed um, talking to you guys about books. So um, I will just talk to y'all later. Bye.